Hi, I'm Vicky. I live with my mom and stepfather. I also have three younger sisters, and that's a real nightmare. They prank me and demand I play with them all the time. One day, my crush finally noticed me. Austin was the most popular guy in school. Just imagine, he asked me out. I was over the moon, until my mom called me. She and my stepdad had been urgently called to work, and she asked me to babysit my sisters. I didn't know what to do. Say no to Austin? No way. That's when I got an idea and asked Austin over. After my mom and stepdad had left, I prepared a romantic dinner. My sisters were constantly getting in my way. Alexa was particularly irritating. She was the second eldest after me and constantly came up with all sorts of ideas for pranks. I sent them to their room, asked them to sit quietly, and invited Austin in. We sat in the living room and waited for dinner to warm up. All of a sudden, we smelt something burning. I ran to the kitchen and couldn't believe my eyes. The food had been burnt to a crisp. I must have had the flame too high, although I was sure I had turned it down. Austin said it was no big deal and suggested we order pizza. While we were waiting for the delivery, a remote control helicopter flew into the living room. Before I knew it, it had spilled dry paint on Austin. Damn it, I was horrified. I apologized, brought him to the bathroom, and went to find my sisters. In the hallway, I saw Alexa looking smug. The burnt dinner and paints were definitely her doing. The delivery guy rang the doorbell. I left the pizza in the living room and decided to check on Austin. He had already washed his t-shirt and there were almost no stains left. However, when we came back to the living room, the pizza was gone. I was furious. I had to apologize to Austin again and go to the girls' room. Alexa was stuffing herself with pizza. She'd even shared with our younger sisters. She had gone too far. I took the remaining slices and brought them to Austin. We turned on the TV and were about to watch a movie when Katie suddenly came into the living room and asked me to go with her to the bathroom. I'm too afraid to go alone. It's so dark there. I wanted to sink into the floor. I jumped up from the sofa, grabbed her hand, and dragged her to the bathroom. When I came back, Austin was preparing to leave. I see that you're very busy. I don't want to distract you. After he left, I almost burst into tears. It was so unfair. I blew up on my sisters, and that was when my mom and stepdad came back home. Mom scolded me for yelling at my sisters. I wanted to talk back, but then Alexa suddenly ratted me out. Vicky's boyfriend was here. Mom got angry. Is this how you look after your sisters? How could you ask your boyfriend over instead of watching over them? We had a fight, and I went to my room. I fell on the bed, punched the pillow, and burst into tears. I wanted to finish school as soon as possible and move out of that madhouse. The next day, I was in for another unpleasant surprise. My mom and stepfather worked in the same company. They went on a business trip, and I had to look after my sisters again. I got sick of it and demanded they hire a babysitter. You know perfectly well that we don't have the money for that. It's about time you learn some responsibility. <laughs> I almost howled. That was too much responsibility, and I was about to lose it. Still, I had no choice but to agree. I was in a terrible mood, and things got worse at school. There was a nerd that was constantly following me around. His name was Martin, and he liked me. He was ugly, dressed ridiculously, and everyone laughed at him all the time. I usually ignored him, but that day I couldn't help but snap. Austin heard us and decided to cheer me up. He was going to a cafe that evening with his friends and suggested I join them. I really wanted to. The coolest guys were going to be there, but what about my sisters? After classes, I sat by the school building, lost in thought. All of a sudden, Martin came up to me. He wasn't even angry after I yelled at him that morning. Why are you so sad? I wanted to tell him to go to hell, but then I got a better idea. I smiled sweetly, flirted, and told him about my problems with my sisters. Maybe you could watch over them while I go to the cafe? Tell me. Would a normal person agree to that? Of course not. But Martin melted when I smiled and nodded. What a fool. At home, I told him how to look after the girls. When Alexa heard that I was going to a cafe, she immediately started whining and begging to come with me. I was so tired of it all. I tried to stay calm and soon left. The cafe was awesome. We had a great time. Austin was sitting next to me constantly joking and complimenting me. At some point, Martin and my sisters walked in. Damn it, what were they doing there? Those little troublemakers sat down at a table and ordered something. I wasn't the only one who noticed them. We all immediately started laughing loudly and making fun of Martin. Hmm, Vicky, isn't that your sister next to him? Damn it. He had seen Katie at our house and recognized her. Everyone's attention immediately switched to me. Are you friends with the nerd? I laughed nervously and said Martin moonlighted as a babysitter. After that, they started laughing louder, ridiculing him and coming up with hurtful nicknames. I was on pins and needles. The evening was ruined. After we left the cafe, Austin offered to walk me home. Martin and my sisters trailed behind us. They were being loud and my youngest sister was crying. I was embarrassed for them. What would Austin think? He kissed me goodbye. I hope we'll go on a date without your younger sisters next time. After Austin had left, I pounced on Martin. I asked him why he had come to the cafe. 
He said that my sisters had really wanted to go. You should be gentler with them. They're just kids. Martin infuriated me, and I quickly said goodbye to him. I tucked my sisters into bed and was about to meditate a little to calm down. I sat down on the carpet, closed my eyes, and prepared to relax. But I got interrupted again. Alexa and Katie got out of their beds and ran up to me. They started shouting, pulling my hair, asking me to play. As soon as I calmed them down, my phone rang. It was my birth father. My parents had had a nasty divorce and didn't talk to each other anymore. He often called me and I didn't tell my mom about it. Dad asked me how I was doing and I complained about my sisters and told them that I had no personal life or free time because of them. Dad reassured me and said that I would soon become an adult and be able to move out. And then he suggested something unexpected. You could stay with me. The offer was tempting. On the one hand, I really wanted to, but on the other, I was afraid of ruining my relationship with my mom. In the morning, my mom and stepdad came back, and I went to school. Martin was waiting for me by the classroom. He asked me how my sisters were doing. Just as I was about to answer, I suddenly noticed Austin and his friends nearby. I didn't want them to see me with that nerd. I came up to them, and everyone immediately started making fun of Martin. They called him a nerd and a nanny. I felt a little <laughs> awkward, but I laughed along with them. After school, Austin asked me out again. He suggested we go to an ice rink. Of course! I was delighted and promised my sisters wouldn't be a problem anymore. But, have you already guessed what happened? My mom and stepfather had some problems at work that they had to deal with at once. They asked me to babysit my sisters again. Enough was enough. My date was supposed to be perfect. I wouldn't miss it for anything. I told my mom I was going to a rink and wouldn't cancel my plans. We argued a little, but in the end, mom gave in. She said she would take the girls to work with her. I had only just breathed a sigh of relief when Alexa broke in. She had heard me talking about going to the ice rink and wanted to come with me. When I refused, she started crying. What a naughty child. Would it kill you to take your sister with you? Look what you've done. Alexa threw a tantrum and I gave in. She was impossible. After my mom and stepdad had left, I called Martin and asked him to babysit Alexa. And you know what? He refused. I don't want you to use and then mock me. I got angry and hung up. I had no choice but to bring Alexa along. Austin grimaced when he saw her, and I was very embarrassed and tried to smooth things over. I promised that Alexa would behave, but it was like she was trying to ruin my date. She was constantly acting up and demanding attention. Soon Austin started getting angry. I sat Alexa on a bench and asked her to be quiet. I was fed up with her antics. My crush had finally noticed me, but my sisters kept destroying any chance of a relationship I had. Austin and I started skating and soon relaxed. However, after a while, Alexa tried to get in the way again. She came up to us and said plaintively that she was cold. I waved her off and skated to the middle of the rink. We spent several more hours there. Austin walked me home again. I had almost calmed down when Austin said it was our last date. You're too much work for me, so I'm sorry. I felt like I had been hit by something heavy over the head. All of my dreams collapsed like a house of cards. When I walked into the house, I burst into tears. Alexa tried to hug me, but I pushed her away. It's all because of you. You've ruined everything. Mom had already come back home and heard me shout. She asked me to calm down, but I snapped at her and said that my sisters constantly bothered me and I would have been better off without them. I couldn't have a moment of peace in that house. If we annoy you so much, maybe you should move out. Great idea. I'm leaving. I'm going to live with dad. I went up to my room, threw my things into my travel bag, and left. Once outside, I called my dad and said that I'd be at his place soon. He was a little surprised, but gave me his address. His new wife opened the door. She didn't seem very happy to see me. I unpacked, and dad called me to dinner. The atmosphere at the table was tense, and I felt uncomfortable. It was Friday, and Dex suggested we spend the weekend together. I constantly felt how annoyed his wife was with my presence. It felt like all my words and actions irritated her. That was very upsetting. What had I done to deserve that? At some point, I realized that I had treated my younger sisters the same way. We were sitting in the living room and watching TV in the evening, when Dad's phone suddenly rang. At first, he was smiling, but soon he started to frown. Has something happened? My friend works in the children's ward at a hospital. Alexa was recently admitted there. She's really sick. Uh, what? Yay. Alexa was in the hospital? I immediately remembered her complaining about being cold at the ice rink. It was all because of me. I prepared to go to the hospital and invited Dad along. Why would he go there? It's not like he can help Alexa. Dad looked at me uncertainly and shrugged his shoulders. I was shocked. Did he really not care about his own daughter? I decided to go alone. I had almost left the apartment when Dad suddenly stopped me. He said he hadn't thought things through. His Yay. personal life had only just got better and it would be better if I stayed with my mom. His words hurt me so much that tears came to my eyes. At that moment, I understood why mom didn't want to talk to him. He didn't care about us. I went back to get my things and left for the hospital. Mom didn't want to talk to me. My stepfather said that Alexa had a bad cold and no one was allowed into the ward yet. I spent the whole night in the hospital hallway. I felt horrible. In the morning, Alexa's condition improved and my mom and stepfather decided to head home. 
I felt too guilty to go with them. I had no money, and I didn't know what to do. In the end, I decided to call Martin. Maybe he would agree to take me in. Of course, that was unlikely, but to my own surprise, I burst out crying while talking to him on the phone. Soon he arrived in a taxi and took me to his place. There was a spare room in his house. Martin's older brother had left for college and moved out the previous year. I stayed there all day. Martin brought me food, distracted and comforted me. I felt bad for how I had treated my mother, sisters, and Martin as well. I shouldn't have called him an idiot. The next day I went to the hospital again. Alexa's fever had broken, and she was feeling much better. I sat down next to her and apologized for constantly scolding her. All of a sudden I realized there was someone behind me. I turned around and saw my mom. We were silent for a while and then I apologized to her for my behavior and for deciding to live with my father. Mom admitted that she had been wrong too. I'll try not to make you babysit your sister so often anymore. As for your father, you can talk to him. I won't be upset. We made up and went home together. Things got much easier. The next day, Martin was waiting for me by the school gates. He looked hesitant. He was probably afraid I would make fun of him in front of everyone again. I took his hand and we went to class together. Of course, everyone noticed it right away. Vicky, do you need a babysitter now too? Where are your little sisters now? Martin is my boyfriend. My sisters are still at home and we are going for a walk together in the evening. To say that everyone was stunned would be to say nothing. Even Martin seemed shocked by my announcement. For the first time, Austin was speechless. Alexa soon recovered and was discharged from the hospital. My mom and I made a schedule. Now we take turns looking after the girls. Spending time with them is a joy to me, especially since Martin is always with me. Speaking of Martin, we really did start dating. After all, he's a good guy, and I'm not interested in Austin anymore. Tell me, do you have younger siblings? Do you get along with them? If you're watching this, you've already breached the SCP Foundation protocols. Stay where you are. The cleanup team is on the way. In the meantime, you can watch stories of the people who were lucky enough to encounter the most anomalous SCP objects. When the Foundation staff arrives, you will be treated by Class A amnestics and you won't recall anything. This record will self-destruct in 3, 2, 1.